I'm Adam Penning, this is Thinking Tackle, welcome. We're down at Farlow's Lake in Buckinghamshire, which is run by Boyer Leisure. It's one of the most famous, well-established and also busiest carp fishing lakes in the country. It's got a big head of fish, some of them are quite large, there's a good head of 30 pounders, the lake record is a bit over 40 pounds. It's got a long history of being a, a competition water, some of the BCAC finals are run here and if you look back through carp fishing his history it's littered with references to Farlow's. Some of Rob Malin's early books, there's, there's swims here that are famous, the fish are famous, so it's been around for quite a long time. The fish have been under a lot of pressure for many years, they know the game, they know a trick or two and we're going to need a trick or two to overcome them. We come down here, we've had no benefits, no favours, we've turned up just like you guys will do watching the programme. We've had no pre-baiting, we've had no swims roped off. We've turned up cold, we've walked around and we're trying to find the fish and then we're going to get cracking and see if we can catch them. I'm sure you'll agree, Farlow's is absolutely stunning, very, very picturesque. It's extremely well established, tree-lined, there's bays, there's islands, peninsulas, gravel bars, all sorts of things going on. the first fish of the trip always a massive relief to hook one especially when we're filming one of these shows this fish has swum straight towards us and almost straight into the net without doing anything and now he's just plodding around up and down let's see if we can get him in massive relief Simon and I have been up watching the water and uh, there's been the odd bit of uh, activity but the first bite really pleased with this let's get him in oh what a fish look at that nice dark linear <laughs> I didn't expect that <laughs> brilliant excellent the first one's in the bag and looks to be a lovely dark linear maybe close to 20 pounds so fantastic well there we go I mean this must be a Farlow's original do you think Si oh definitely look at it it's a proper old gnarly fish could be 40 years old this carp and uh you know, these fish don't spend all their time eating bait, do they, Sam? No, no, we, yeah, he's, you know, there's a bit of uh, faeces coming out on the unhooking mat and it's full of, it? full of shells, zebra mussels, snail shells. So they're eating naturals as well, definitely. Good. Well, he's a lovely, lovely carp. I mean, a perfect linear, black shoulders, big head. Um, I think you're due one next. Yeah, I'm going to ring some changes, try a slightly different tactic because okay. I'm, I'm getting paranoid now. You've had one and I haven't had a bite. So I'm sure you'll get one yeah, soon, mate. It's going to have a feeling. recast. Well, let's get this fella back. He's done as proud, and we'll look at what you're doing. Yeah, well done. Okay, well, seeing Adam with that fabulous linear has really got me fired up. We put in quite a lot of bait last night, and uh, I'm now thinking, oh, maybe it's not worked, maybe I've overgunned it, so I've, you know, I'm really keen to ring some changes now. Uh, waters like this, heavily pressured waters, the fish are going to be coming and taking you on quite a lot. They want the bait you're putting in, and we put in a bit last night. Um, so one tip definitely with, with, in, with regards to the boilies is to make sure you use high quality, you know, buy the best you can. So these are a couple of uh, spicy fish meal boilies that I'm a big fan of. So we're putting quite a lot of those last night. Um, and as I say, I've not had a bite. I've watched Adam catch a lovely 28 pounder, so I'm keen to chop and change things. The rig that I've been using thus far is my sort of Simon Scott go anywhere rig. Really quite a basic setup. Um, soft coated braid uh, onto a size six hook um, and a, a pop up half cut down and a, an 80 mil bottom bait. Great rig, I've caught loads and loads of fish on this so I've got massive confidence in it but when you watch your mate catch a 28 pounder you suddenly think oh no and the old confidence starts to rattle so these fish are pressured want to maybe ring the changes so what I've decided to do is fine right down and uh, I've changed things a bit I, I've gone for a really small hook uh, onto a nylon hook link, so we've got a size 12 floater fishing hook there. Again, 80 mil bottom bait because that's what I put in last night. I want the fish, you know, they're on that sort of a bait. Uh, but to that, I've added a little bag uh, of uh, really attractive pellets to try and get the fish, if there's not that many of them out there, to home in on my spot. So that's the rig I've, I'm going to cast out now, see if we can't try and buy ourselves a bite. Let me show you a little bit of detail of the pellet. 
The pellets are a combination of three or four different pellets in here, but one of the key ingredients, which I'm a massive fan of, is these like red coloured pellets. Now these are actually a spicy, fast breakdown uh, fish mill based pellet. Really, really attractive. Um, and I've glugged them with a little bit of oil over the top, put a little bit of oil in. I've then uh, given it a bit of a shake and uh, I'm really confident with this mix, very, very attractive. It's got great pulling power. And if there's just a few fish grazing in the area that we put the boilies in last night, I'm hoping that these little bags of delight might just give the fish a target to, uh, to aim for. So fingers crossed, let's wait and see what happens. Okay, we're a couple of hours in. Um, first hour I had to, to watch Adam catch a fish, which is never good for the nerves. We put a bit of bait in last night, as we've explained. And I thought, that's no, not working. So I, uh, I reeled in, I put on a little bag of pellet. I've got some fast breakdown spicy fish meal pellets. I put one of those on and I popped it back out. It's only been out there about 45 minutes and away. So uh, confidence is up now. So they're obviously at fish out over the bait. It feels like a good and it's certainly going really well. Got a few swans coming through as well, just to add a little bit to the tension. Mr. Carp. Hi, mate. First <laughs> one, good man. Do you want me to do the honours? Yes, please, sir. Try not to knock it off. I, I know what you're like in these... Uh, How dare you? Fierce. Mates going fishing trips can get slightly competitive for Mr. No, Penning in my experience. No, not with us, mate. It's going to be a joy netting one for you. Take it quite easy, Adam, because this has got a very small hook on, remember? Right, OK, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I'm pulling quite hard here. I'm thinking, OK, we've only got a little hook. <laughs> I don't know, that might have made a difference or not. We don't know, do you? Yeah, because of or in spite of. So it was a rig change and a bait change. It yeah? was, yeah. Interesting. Something just to hopefully give the fish a target to pinpoint in on. And the other thing is, I notice it's your middle rod, which is right in the middle of the bait. So yeah. that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, They're definitely. Not... Yeah, slap bang in the middle of the spot, that is. It's a common, lovely dark common sight. <laughs> Didn't think the same of you, did it? No. I'm playing this one quite carefully because, as I mentioned earlier, we've had a bit of a rig change. I've only got a very small hook on. And, uh, on these things, these really pressured day to get fish, they're constantly coming and taking on the anglers because they're, uh, they're hungry fish. And they, I reckon they're some of the hardest fish to catch in terms of their rigginess. You know, they can be very, very riggy. And when I've been stalking, I found them to be incredibly cute. And you're thinking, how do they get away with that? So it's worth ringing the changes on the rig. So as I mentioned, Adam had one and I hadn't had a bite. So I started to get a bit of a, bit of a panic on. So I've dropped down to a real small hook. And, uh, How small is it? It's this a, will shock them. It's a size 12. A 12? Yeah. Will you match fish in? That's incredible. So I'm playing him really gently, because uh, although I'm confident of a size 12, and gets a good hook hold, you're still thinking, oh, it's a tiny hook. <laughs> Add to the excitement. He's nearly ready, Si. There's no rush to get it I in. I think he's nearly ready. He Powerful doesn't, fish, He doesn't isn't think he? much of you, Adam, that's no, for sure. I'm sorry, I haven't had a shave You think today. he's lovely looking common. He thinks you're a scabby looking Big human. Big fat brute. <laughs> yeah. Big fat scabby human on the bank with the net. Cheers, mate. I speak quite highly of you. It's a lovely carp, that Simon. He's almost. Oh, your net is so floppy. Right, here we go. He's swum into the net. Very strange. Well done. He gave up in the end there. <laughs> After you tried to knock him off. Isn't it? It's just like made of... What a lovely carp. <laughs>